Who's ready for an adventure? chippy and ready to go as Roy is this morning. It's a miserable night last night where mosquitoes are concerned. They were uh, particularly bad quite late into the night. So I'm not feeling very well rested today, but here we are before the dawn on the water. Another clear, misty day. Some of us are more awake than others. But I'm really hoping to get some food. Just caught my first fish of the day. It's a perch. Which is good, because I was beginning to fear that all of the fish were full on mayflies, of which there are no lack. Oh, I know the, uh, the walleye that I caught yesterday coughed up some uh, some mayflies when I had it on the stringer. I don't know if pike would be so inclined to go for small small food like that. They're probably a little more voracious, so I'm hoping that they haven't been gorging on mayflies like the uh, the walleye and the perch have. At least we know fish are feeding. That's yeah, a nice fish, but it is not what I am looking for, unfortunately. I've marked the slot size. Shorter than here to here, good to keep. If it's longer than here to here, good to keep. This individual is too large. So, back you go. Hungry as I am, I cannot keep you. Well, where there's one, there might be more, so I'm gonna keep trying. Just caught perch number three on the day, and that is a nice one. A lot of nice perch in this lake. So that's going to go on the stringer with the other two. And I'm starting to get a semblance of a decent meal going. Just having a little breakfast on the go now. Some rhizome while I walk Roy. I gotta say, it's a cool morning. The sun is up now though, so I imagine things will warm up soon. But, uh, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if it wasn't overly hot today. Might have a little more energy in the afternoon to be up and active. I 
Anyways, just another walk with Roy, getting him exercise, and uh, I would love to find a few more of those orange bowl eats because they were delicious. So I've just refueled a little more water, fed Roy, and uh, now we're back on the water looking to do a little more fishing. It's still pretty early in the day. And I'm heading to a spot where I've caught a couple pike in the past. Hoping to uh, do much of the same today. So this is the area that I was going for. Haven't done too much fishing yet. I just wanted to point out I'm in a patch of yellow pond lilies or cow lilies right now. The uh, flower from one of those. Once these mature, these will provide some food for me. Uh, at this point, they're not there just yet, but uh, I just wanted to point this out and I know where the spot is. I will be back later in the summer and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but that's something I'm looking forward to, uh, to testing out. Shoes. We live in the high life now, baby. Can't have the best of both both worlds. Things are starting to warm up a little bit, so I've just backed into the shade here. I'm gonna have some water, have a little snack, and uh, change my approach and go back to it. I've been using the original floating rapella which is one of my go-to lures. Stop swinging there. You know what it is. Anyways, it's one of my go-to lures. Um, works really well for bass, but it's also good for pike, and I've caught walleye, panfish, all sorts of stuff on it. Uh, I've had a couple small bites, but nothing worthwhile, really. So I'm gonna switch over to a spoon after I've had a little break, chance to uh, get out of the sun for a few minutes, and then I'll be back at it. The spoon gave me no luck at all, so I've ditched that idea, back to the old worm harness. <clears throat> Live bait, I find delivers most often, so I'm going to give this bait one more pass and then I'm going to have to move on because the sun's getting a little high in the sky. Don't want to be out here during the heat of the day. Just did a little bit of exploring and found another site there. Looks like there's a bush road that leads to it as well. I've seen it on the map and I've walked the start of that bush road. It would be a hard road to make it down, but if you were to canoe into that site, you could walk the road and uh, probably grouse hunt along there. It looked like it would be good grouse territory. So now I'm just making my way back to camp. It's not oppressively hot but it's warming up. I can definitely feel myself getting thirsty. Energy level's still good, so I'll get home, clean the perch, have some lunch, relax. I'm getting back to camp not a moment too soon. It's getting a little warm and, uh, and humid. It's the most humid it's been so far. And, uh, Sooner or later, we're going to need to get some rain. It's been pretty dry recently, so... Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Anyway, so now I get to uh, make myself some lunch, relax for a bit, and uh, just dry things out.
today's tea of the day is spruce. Now, this has been steeping for about 20 minutes. Should be good to go. Can't say I've ever tried spruce tea before, so I'm not sure what to expect. Smells like spruce. That actually tastes pretty good. It's better than I was expecting. Um, yeah, it has the uh, the spruce taste. It's a little sweeter though. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Surprising enough, I didn't think it was going to be very good, but um, yeah, I'll definitely be having that again. And it's a, an excellent source of vitamin C, especially in the winter. So. Good to know if you're out on a snowshoeing trip or something like that. So now that I'm back in camp for the afternoon, um, I'm definitely going to be taking some time to relax, really, well, I'm going to have a nap for a bit. The uh, the late night of mosquitoes combined with the early morning of mosquitoes and the out on the water a little longer than perhaps I should have been. Um, it's really taken it out of me so I'm feeling pretty tired. Got some food in me, a little bit of the, or two of the perch that I caught this morning as well as some cattail shoots. I've also had a few rhizomes as snacks throughout the day and I think that really helped to keep me going. Uh, but yeah, now that I'm in camp, I think my, I've got my bases covered, I've got things hanging out to dry, I've got my tea, I've got food, and I'm hydrating. Um, I'm just really going to relax. I'm going to lay down in the shade for a couple hours, uh, do as the animals do, and just lay low and sleep as much as possible during the heat of the day and wait for this to cool down a bit, and then I'll get active more in the evening. So, yeah, I think uh, yesterday I took a rest just... Uh, for the sake of it because I felt like it was a good idea. Today I definitely need the rest. Definitely feeling pretty tired. Um, I think I'm in uh, in good shape though where food and drink and supplies are concerned. So uh, yeah, happy w with where things are and I'm looking forward to having a bit of a nap. I've just risen from my nap. I was down for about three hours and we had a, a nice wind pick up so the uh, the insects stayed off so I was actually able to sleep for most of it which was really nice. Still a little bit groggy but feeling a lot better than I was before I started. And um, now it's time to start thinking about dinner. He's a good boy. You a happy dog? I think you are. I think you are a happy dog. Not a care in the world. Just had a lovely nap. Hey buddy, you a good boy? Roy? You a good boy? Yeah, you are. You're a good boy. I have to say, it is a warm one. Humid. Hot. It's a good thing we have this breeze to keep things reasonable. So we're just on the way to the island to clean the fish. Figure I might as well take a few casts while we're at it. See if I can get a little more protein for dinner. into something large and in charge. This has got to be a pike. It's going to make a big run here. Fuck. Oh no. That was big. 
big. Hmm. Alright, well. That's that, I suppose. There's an area that I discovered recently uh, just north of my island. It's about the size of two football fields, I would estimate, side by side. Uh, just a relatively flat. It's got rolling underwater hills, I guess, between four and ten feet deep and uh, some vegetation all across it. I knew there were tons of little fish on there that would be, they would feed up at the surface and whenever you paddle by or cast or something flies over they would <clears throat> swim away disturbed. I realized this morning those were hundreds of tiny little perch. I've been catching a, a lot of good sized perch there as well and in the morning I catch walleye there. I've caught pike there as well. So uh, it just seems like a very, uh, very rich area. Um, anyways, henceforth I'm going to call that the Perch Flats. I was traveling over to the island where I cleaned my fish just now and I uh, thought I'd take a few casts while I drifted across, across the Perch Flats. I hooked into something really big. It was one of those things where at first it feels like you, you've hooked a log or the bottom or something like that and then it just slowly starts to move and without even trying it seems it was uh, it was taking line out and uh, it got off on its first real run so I couldn't get a, a feel for just how strong it was but I could tell it was quite big. Um, I'm not too worried about that because I do have the uh, two perch left over from this morning for dinner and I have plenty more time here so hopefully I'll get another crack at that fish and see what it is. I can only imagine it was a big pike. Um, but yeah I just have the two perch left that I caught this morning uh, two of the four, that is. Uh, I think I'm going to make a soup again because last time I had a, a fairly small amount of fish. It padded it out nicely. I don't have the wild carrots anymore and I don't have cattail shoots. So I'm going to use uh, bulrush shoots, cattail rhizomes, and perch, and we'll see how that goes. So we're into the evening of day 18 now. Taking my soup off the fire, just letting it cool for a minute. Uh, didn't accomplish a whole lot today, um, but that's all right. I didn't lose anything. I kept myself fed. Uh, like I said, I didn't really move forwards too much at all. I was hoping to work on my food storage container, but um, just didn't end up happening. And <clears throat> I uh, I was pretty tired, so I, I could have well, I could have taken the time spent napping to work on the food container instead. But I think that the time spent napping for the sake of my health, was more worthwhile uh, than doing anything else, really. And I've survived another day, so as far as I'm concerned, that's a very small forward step. Uh, it's, uh, that's one thing that I've learned, is keeping expectations very modest. Uh, don't try to do it all at the expense of your health or your energy levels. Just take your time, do what you can, and um, if you have to have a day like today, where you don't do a whole lot, other than take care of your basic necessities, so be it. No loss. Um, just going to go ahead and give this a try. That is a fairly thin and bland soup, so nothing special. But I guess the theme is the day is lowered expectations. Um, again, that's fine with me. This is uh, sustenance and it's hydration. Got the water in there, so it'll do the job. It's uh, meeting the standard, not exceeding it. Not every day has to be a big day, so I'm just going to relax, take it easy and uh, call it a successful day on the criteria that I survived and I'm still healthy, well fed, and reasonably energetic. How much energy do you have? How much energy do you have? Do you have more energy than me? Okay. Are you feeling playful at all? Are you playful? Oh, you got mosquitoes on your eyes. Are you feeling playful? Okay.
Yes, you have much more energy than me. Hey, you're still good to go. You're still good to go, aren't you, buddy? Come on, let's go. Found this little fella. I'm growing right here out of a log. That might be an evening project for me. This is not a bolete. This is a gill fungus. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring this little guy back and see what the book has to say about it. This is what I call the Bushman Brian Lazy Boy. Paddle, the back support, a yoke to put my feet up on, and I will take a fishing rod over a remote in my hand any day of the year. And this view over a TV as well. This is actually really nice because I'm either on my feet or sitting without lumbar support most of the day. When I do lie down, it's on hard, lumpy ground. So this is a treat. I don't know if I got a big fish on my tip. That would be unfortunate, but let's hope for a medium sized fish. Reached the end of the day. The sun sets in the west, while the full moon rises in the east. Might not be full just yet. Tonight or tomorrow. Another beautiful day, though, here in Tomogamy. Just gotta be happy to be out here. I don't know if you can see these little bastards or not, but the mosquitoes are pretty thick. Today. I was counting just to get a, a frame of reference for you. It took me 21 minutes to kill my first 102 mosquitoes. And um, I say my first because they show no sign of uh, slowing or thinning whatsoever. And this is pretty much every night. Be like this until the wee hours of the morning, and then they'll be like this again. I don't get a lot of sleep, so I tried to uh, flush the mosquitoes out of the shelter. Did that a few times. I, I went in the back, basically caused a commotion, stirred up the walls, tried to get them off there so that they'd be following me, and then I went out the front and uh, did that a few times. Lure them out. Eventually, I went and laid down in the rocks by the water, and uh, they found me there as well. So, uh, enough. Is enough. Right, I'm gonna go fishing. I haven't had any bites yet, but uh, got a nice little breeze out here. It's keeping the mosquitoes off nicely, so on the plus side, at least I'm not laying under a tarp swatting mosquitoes. It's a nice warm evening. And who knows? Maybe the walleye are hungry. Though I will say I would like to be sleeping. I'm pretty tired right now. Just making the most of the situation. It's all we can do.
Anyways, now it's time to go to bed. Can't stay up fishing all night. After all, I have to get up early in the morning to go fishing.